um, rise to take a call in this debate because I'm so pleased with the advances that we've made ar around the justice sector and the law and order issues that have been prevailing in New Zealand for some long time. Great to be able to have put together some ideas within the opposition, then win an election in 2008 under the leadership of John Key, and then to be able to put forward before the committees in the House um, in initiatives such as uh, the um, short-term protection orders, the offender levy system, the increase in um, uh, uh, measures against gangs, uh, tackling new uh, initiatives on P, new powers to confiscate the proceeds of crime, uh, tackling violent youth crime and giving young offenders a, a fresh start, strengthening some bail laws that uh, really needed dealing to after some changes made by the previous government in October of 2008, putting an extra 600 police officers on the front line by the end of 2011, and probably most critical for uh, victims, taking DNA samples from people when they're arrested for imprisonable offences. Great to see, for instance, through the victim compensation scheme, that victims will be able to um, access more from the taxpayer to assist them in recovery from crimes against them and against their families, like enhanced homicide support for those families to be able to attend the court hearings and to do um, uh, good by those who have been stolen from them at the hand of violent offenders. Good for court, uh, enhanced court services for the victims of sexual violence. For instance, a payment of $250 to um, address those immediate um, costs that there are in providing evidence, for instance, in crimes against people and uh, sex crimes against people like replacing clothing, accessing some immediate counselling, accessing some um, immediate help in respect of their recovery, um, uh, for instance, being able to attend court and be able to have child minding facilities paid for by the taxpayer so they're able to do that. And also for those people, um, members uh, just returning to families of um, homicide victims, for instance, $124 a day towards cost of attending court, uh, child minding, accommodation, meals and those sorts of things that they can take part of that. A funeral grant of up to four and a half, four and a half thousand uh, to families of homicide victims. All very, very important to make sure that we refocus our criminal justice system on the victims of crime instead of maybe concentrating overly on the offenders and listening to those people who are screaming hard on, um, on behalf of them, for instance, the Sensible Sentencing Trust, who want to go down a harder and harder line without actually being precise enough to cater to the real concerns of victims' families. And what did we hear under the previous administration? Well, there's a couple of examples here. There were several promises made, for instance, on changes to the domestic violence law. And prior to the 2005 election, for instance, Labor promised to, quote, evaluate amendments to um, the relevant act to ensure its effectiveness, for example, through considering whether greater flexibility is necessary in types of coverage of protection orders. For the greater flexibility might allow for interim protection orders to be granted, for coverage for orders to be varied, uh, where that is in the interests of dependent children. Well, that was before the 2005 election. We got to the end of 2007, where after um, a month of, of uh, Nationals' announcement of on-the-spot protection orders, the Justice Minister, Annette King, released a discussion document proposing changes to the Act, including protection orders very similar to Nationals. And then in June 2008, seven months later, Annette King announces um, that changes will be introduced by July. Well, nothing happened. Uh, in September, Annette King says, we undertook a major review of Domestic Violence Act. We consulted widely. The legislation has recently gone through Cabinet and it will be in the House in due course. Due course. Due course was two days after Parliament was adjourned for the election uh, fight in 2008. That bill was brought, uh, dropped into the House. Do so you want to have a look at another one? And that is on victims' compensation. In July... 4th of July 1994, Helen Clark said, Labor also intends to consult widely on an appropriate victim's compensation scheme. In Labor's 96 election campaign, she promised to investigate the establishment of separate criminal injuries compensation scheme. Then in 
2005 and Labour's election campaign, she promised more, nothing ever happened. Mr. Speaker.